Hello, Team Absolution fans. Back at it again with another Little Digestible Bite video for you. I am the captain speaking, joined with the Braxton Express. If Howdy. you hadn't noticed, it says Braxton. <laughs> and, of course, uh, the Doombringer Griffin himself. I hope you guys are doing well today. Not too bad. Can't, right. can't complain. So, uh, today what we want to talk about is we want to focus on the general changes to the game out to zero from the regular game that is not based on um, triggers. Because we already talked that. Check that video out. It came posted it earlier this week. Me and Keith had a pretty lengthy discussion about it. So, first thing I want to talk about is uh, starters, right? Because you get them pretty much from the start of the game, right? Um, do you think that's going to be a trend that continues? Do you think we're going to keep getting the starters that we need? Um, no, because I think some of them we got just because we were – part of like that first release of the game oh you think like barkle and them we just got because we were the first entries some yeah. of them are promos like we got battle riser through quests for example right right and i think some of the other ones were open through packs but i know some of them are promos and you can't make more or get rid of them interesting i don't know that. so like uh libergal you can't make more of it or get rid of it even though it's not like same with conro same with conro yep that's good. I mean, these are good starters, too. Also, the changes to some of the old starters, or some of the old grade zeros, like Tar now has Forerunner, for example, which he never did before. So, the uh -huh. Claw, and, um, or the generic Trial Deck starters. That's that good stuff. That's good stuff right there. <laughs> Tar Undo doesn't have Forerunner. Runner. Who does it? Undo, Undo doesn't have Forerunner. Yeah. He does it? Oh, that's weird. Nope. He's stuck in the soul. Um, mm -hmm. He stays Strictly there inferior. five ever. Um... So the next thing we'll talk about after that is uh, PGs really quick. So let's cover that as a difference between uh, the original game and this game. So PGs uh, are triggered automatically um, when you have when you would have one or less damage, I think is the best way to phrase that sentence. It, uh, yeah, it happens anytime you would die, yes. basically. Yeah. Or if you go from three to five. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Anytime you would end at one or less damage, it will trigger. Depending uh -huh. on the situation, because if you're gonna go to to if you're gonna go to six in any situation, it triggers. Uh huh. Right? Unless it's yeah. Tom. <laughs> Unless it's Tom, then you're just bad. <laughs> um. Next, I want to talk about intercepts, uh, which is basically your only form of guarding. Makes Alfred Early a lot more playable. Uh, hey, it's a Matthew. Look at him. Look at him sneaking off in the distance. Um, a, it's a uh, – so intercepts. Uh, Ryan, go ahead and give us a, a, a quick a quick uh, affront to intercepts. Sure. Uh, intercepts Did you just call him Riding and Gordon? No. I, no. I, I think I got to call him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Back to the point. <laughs> Taking on my time. Intercepts, intercepts are now essentially taunts. So if you're familiar with other digital card games, uh, you now have to attack grade twos first unless there's an effect that ignores them. So your twos are basically the only thing that stands between you and taking damage on most normal turns. Right. That's absolutely true. Um, are there any... I'm trying to think, uh, unless blockade's on the board, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> then face is the place. We know face, trade. Face is, face is <laughs> dude, I hate blockade. I uh, love blockade, but I hate blockade. Um, we should also talk about um, the, the first turn, because now uh, the person who goes second draws two cards. Correct. Oh, yeah. Yes. First draws one, second draws two. Second still gets the first attack. Um, Drive checks don't go to your hand anymore. You get one ah, card per turn. <laughs> absolutely. Drive checks don't go. Unless, unless you're playing OTT. Then you can get as many cards as you need. You just got to find a way to get them. <laughs> um, Using but, them effects. You use, yeah. Skills are really the only way to get them. Uh, except for Kagero and Royals, uh, OTT, and, and Nova, well, OTT and Novas both have a kind of a Kirara. One has Kirara, and the, I forget what the OTT one's called. Um <laughs> Uh, they have a CB2 draw card. L Libra? Yeah, Libra. 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 Yeah. Libra. Um, so now that we've talked about that, um, 
I, I do want to just quickly touch on uh, for new players coming into the game because I've seen a lot of uh, posts and a lot of statuses that are just more or less, um, uh, you know, saying like, oh, I'm, I'm jumping in this mobile game. I played back in the day. Like, is this deck as good as it was before? And the answer is maybe. More or less. I think, uh, I think that's where I've landed on that. Um, not to go in too in-depth in the clans, but uh, my camera has decided to blur me. There we go. Welcome back. Um, Royals, I think, Soul Saver is not as powerful as it used to be. I think getting the 5Ks is nice, but you lose a lot. With, with, with all your great three speed triggers, which we talked about in the previous video, searching out triggers is – which is what you did before, but before you had 16. It's like losing one is like, okay. But now you're going to have to end up riding one of your triggers, and you're going to take out triggers. Things get kind of dicey. Um, uh, Kagero and OTT, I, I, or Kagero and Novas. I mean, I know both of you guys are really playing Kagero mostly. Or Ryan, you're also playing Royals, right? I'm mostly playing Royals because that's what I have. I'm building towards Novas and Kagero when I can. Gotcha. Makes sense. No, I'm I mean, like halfway to Novas. It is a gotcha game. Oh, that's, that's another thing. It is a gotcha game. So always remember that. Uh, when you're seeing builds of people who are like, this is the optimal build, you have to have four Toms, you have to have four CEOs. Yeah, if you got the money, go for it. Live that dream. And the luck. For and that the matter. luck. Yeah, for that matter. I mean, I pulled 80 packs, and I still don't have a Dragonic Overlord. Um, Rex, you have two yet, or did you end up crafting that second one? Uh, yeah, so I, got, I pulled one, and then I used the, uh, the silver coins or whatever to get that promo. Gotcha, makes sense. Do you think so? Yes, I have opened 200 packs. Oh, god. <laughs> do you think that Overlord is a star of his deck in Zero as he was in the original, or do you think Blockade is that much more important? I think Overlord is probably one of the best rear guards in the deck. That's about <laughs> it, is the best rear guard in the deck. That's Granted. not my question, though. That's not my question. Being being a star and being a great rear guard is two different questions. I mean, shoot. Hey, exactly. The, I'm answering your question by saying he's not the star of his deck. He's a right. great rear guard. <laughs> I, completely, I completely agree with that. Shoot, anytime I see a blockade and an overlord, I'm just like, if I didn't lose more points by giving up, I would give up right now. Um, it's, uh, it is, as they say, what it is. <laughs> Uh, in terms of OTT and I think I think Braxton, you've also played some Novas, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's uh, Novas is fun, man. I also play Novas. It's Tr triggers notwithstanding, Novas is pretty degenerate. <laughs> Novas is that heat, man. Um, in OTT, I've had a lot of fun. I've been playing it a lot more recently, the last couple days. Um, and uh, let me just tell you. Now that's the deck I do have. I have four CEOs. I have four Toms. Oh, I just, I just don't have. Um, I only have one of the Grade One Triple R. I don't have. I don't have four of her, but I have four Toms. I have four CEOs. I have four Kiraras. Um, I only have three Sakias and three of the um, the Cannon guy, who's also an amazing rear guard. Napoleon, yeah, Napoleon. That's, He's actually a pretty good that, Vanguard too. If you get stuck on him. I say. Uh, yeah, I, that OT is the only deck I can't play yet because I think I only have like two PGs and one Tom, but I have four CEO, so. That's good. That's good. God. <laughs> um, now, the, what I want to end this, because this is a short video just to get people, because a lot of people want to jump in this game. They want to play this free-to-play life, which the game is free-to-play because, and this is the next part that I want to go into, I is one, if you're lucky, like Matt, who just screamed across the room and said, I am evidence, he is free to play, and this man's Kagro deck is better than mine, maybe better than Braxton's. Nah, B. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got, you got what, two overlords? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, so he's still got some more, because he only got two Berserk. I mean, he still I got has three some Berserk, bro. nerd. But, but he's got two Berserk, two PGs, two Overlords, two Blockades. I think he's got like two or three Blazing Flare, right? None? He's got four Blazing Flare. He's only got like two Aloes, actually, I think, oddly enough. <laughs> so I mean, I only play two Aloes, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he only plays two Aloes, so. Um, it, I think what well, the important is, like, you can get that free to play because gotcha is gotcha, and sometimes you'll just get it. You may have to sacrifice the deck that you want to play to play free to play 
You might just, for example, I'm pretty sure the game has decided that Ryan will play Royals. Braxton oh, forced himself into Kagero. <laughs> I did. He said, "No I game, did. I'll play." No do you know, game. Do you know I'll what play. the Do you know what the game was pushing you to play? Like, cause you know, there's more than you pulled. Same. I pulled six CEOs. The game won. It was like, no, Jose, you will play OTT and you will <laughs> like it. <laughs> the game, the game wanted me to play OTT heavily. Uh, then it was Nova's next because I got like Ashura Kaiser as my first triple R. And then it was like Royals, you get canceled a lot, and Alfred early, and that's it. And I was like, what? Enjoy <laughs> <laughs> one of Gantz. Just tuck that heel away. <laughs> um, so it is it is a gotcha game. So it is, but the other thing is luck does play a very, 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 very you wanna throw another very in there for me, Ryan? Very important role. Uh sometimes you're just gonna get blown out. And it's not gonna make you feel good at all. Sometimes you're gonna play a VP farmer which we'll go into that another time, a VP farmer. And yet, even though it's the freest win in history, he'll still find a way to get three miracle heals and make this six minute exercise take 20. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about social distance. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, uh, so I want to, I want to hand that off first to Ryan and to Braxton. Um, the luck component, you know, you got to take it, you got to take it less seriously than we do the card game, which we already take at not a super serious level. So I'm going to hand that topic off to you, see where you run with it. Yeah, I don't recommend grinding your heart out on this game, as some of the people on our team have done. I mean, like, <laughs> shoot, is getting the legend real fun? Absolutely. Should you sacrifice your mental well-being for that in a mobile version of a game that you already know how to play? No. Yes. I mean, no. I mean, yes. <laughs> no, I mean, you bring up a good point. Uh, I've decided that if I can get Legend, I will definitely pursue King of Games in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because if I can give Legend and Vanguard, I think King of Games is... Which one, which one do you think is harder, Braxton? Definitely Legend. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I, I say that because Braxton has hit both King of Games and Duel Links. And he has hit... Le well, he hasn't hit Legend yet in Vanguard. But he is on his way. Um, you're in, what, I, A2? A, A3. I don't even think I hit A2 yet because A3 has just been unforgiving. <laughs> dude, that was me in B2, dude. B2 yesterday, I played 25 games. I ended exactly where I started. Like, I was almost there, and then I lost all – I like I was at, like, 98, right? 98 points at A2, and then I lost all of those points. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> yeah, no. The game, the game comes at you with a fervor that is – you will find yourself on multiple situations being like every other player in this game just has to be luckier than you. They just have to be. <laughs> you know how many times I've hit I, – because I was playing Novas for a while, um, especially the other day when I was messaging you guys. I think I hit the, the, the question mark button like so many times I might have broke it. Kamui was saying, seriously? 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 <laughs> seriously? <laughs> um, the – but the last question I want to leave it on, are you guys having – Is I'm having fun with the game. I'm tilting sometimes, but I'm having fun with it. Uh, would you say you two are having fun with it? I'm having fun with it. It's a nice little homage to what the beginning of Vanguard could have been for us. That's true. That's true. What about you, Brax? Are you having a good time? I'm having fun with it. I'm still trying to figure out. Right now I'm having fun with it. We'll hold my uh, full review – on a TBA date that may never come. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair point. That's a fair point. We got, uh, we got some time see, to see we're, it. We're, we're in the honeymoon phase still, all right? We don't know all the... <laughs> well, also, the, the also, at the same time, like this is the rough edges of the old Duel Links days, right? We have four clans. We only have like a few... Like Blockade is a really annoying. Um, we don't God, have... so annoying. We don't, we don't have, you know, Bermuda Triangle or any other clans for that matter. Um, the game freezes constantly. Is yours freezing too? We have you have an iPhone I've, six. I I I don't have that. Problem. Behold the <laughs> iPhone six from twenty fifteen. Is it twenty fifteen? I should say twenty fourteen, dude. Uh, when did I get it? A junior year of college for me. So 
between 2014 and 2015 somewhere right right so i believe like, i'm i'm apple, not apple, i'm not cheap. feeling those non-optimizations i'll go on a seven plus and the game's running pretty smooth like i still get my messages and everything and it's great <laughs> same i'm playing on an ipad pro mostly um but i'm also playing on my 10 and uh it's been butter. Uh, granted, it's an old iPad Pro. It's not like one of the new iPad Pros. It's one of the old iPad Pros. But it's still moving like butter. It's a fun game to stream. It's great to talk to you guys on it. Uh, which brings me, I'll be streaming again here soon in my ascent to uh, to Legend. And if not my ascent, I got a little surprise coming for you on Saturday. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for more information on that. Um, this is Team Absolution. I want to thank Ryan, of course, and Braxton for taking time out of the day to come talk to you guys and bring you this great content. And show them that you like them as well by dropping a comment in the video. This is Captain signing off. Peace. Bye-bye.